We know that communication is everything. Cell phones, video phones, voice messages, tablets. They all were created to improve communication. But all born after an invention that changed the world. The telephone, invented by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. Alexander Graham Bell was born in Edinburgh, Scotland, on March 3rd, 1847. The idea of communication was always his passion, since in April 1871, he moved to Boston to teach his method of visible speech system, helping the deaf people. In 1872, the first electrical telegraph lines had been built 40 years earlier, in the 1830s. These allowed electrical clicks to be instantly transmitted over great distance. Bell wanted to transmit human speech instead of clicks, and he was getting close to do it. He associated with two students, George Sanders and Mabel Hubbard, first trying to improve the telegraph by sending several telegraph transmissions of different harmonic frequencies on the same wire. In 1874, the essential idea of telephone formed in his mind. He had found that human speech came in like patterns. He now hoped to produce an electrical wave that would follow the same patterns as someone's speech. In the next year, he produced his first simple receiver, which was capable of transforming electrical impulses into audible sound. Bell finally created a machine that could both transmit and receive sound in 1876, the telephone. The telephone was made of a double electron magnet with a membrus stretched in front of it, rather like the skin of a drum. In the center of the membrane was positioned a strip of iron. There was a mouthpiece that was shaped like a funnel, when words were spoken to this horn, it would cause a series of vibrations which would be transferred to the iron and generate oscillating electrical currents passing down the wire. The receiver at the other end of the wire was a metal disc at the end of a tube which attached to another electromagnet. The incoming electromagnetic impulses caused the disc to vibrate making sound waves that correspond to the speaker's voice. And that's how Bell introduced a new concept of telecommunication and became one of the most famous inventors.